We were strangers. But who is a stranger? In the dictionary, there are seven definitions. Some of these definitions we're going to talk about. Someone you don't know, someone in a new place, alien or foreigner, are a person with whom one is not acquainted. When dealing with strangers, here are some tips to always keep in mind. Don't talk to strangers. Don't follow strangers. Don't get in the car with strangers. Run as fast as you can to get away from a stranger. And if you have been confronted by a stranger, tell your parents or legal guardian what happened. What if my could-be attacker is not a stranger? How can I avoid being a victim? Keep in mind that people you know can be untrustworthy, just like a stranger. This person could be a friend, a relative, or a neighbor. You may feel uncomfortable if the person asks you to do something you don't understand, do something that you're not allowed to do. You can do the following things. Leave. <laughs> Search for your parents or legal guardians. Find someone who can help you understand what this person is asking you to do. I've created this part for all ages, so this may be a little kiddie, but eh, maybe it's not. Okay, let's talk about food and drinks for a minute. Food and drinks are for the nourishment of our bodies. Utensils help us, assist us when we eat. Utensils are forks, spoons, and straws if you have one. Food and drinks and utensils are the right things that go in our mouths. Okay, let's move on. Ready, set, go. Whether you prepare to run errands such as going to the bank, shopping at the grocery store, hardware store, or the mall, your mind should be clear of your tasks. Here are some helpful hints to start you on your journey. Just just partner on it. Avoid public restrooms. Take a bathroom break before you head out. Make your phone calls before heading out. You cannot stay focused on the scene around you if you're using your cell phone while you're shopping. Avoid fumbling through your purse and pockets as you walk through the banks, grocery stores, hardware stores, or the mall. Stop. Look. Think. Once you have paid for your merchandise as a courtesy, step out of the way so other shoppers can check out their merchandise as well. Check your receipt before you leave the store to head for the car, bus, however you travel. Leaving the bank, grocery stores, or hardware stores or the mall. Let's talk about leaving the bank, grocery stores, hardware stores or the mall. You should always be aware of your surroundings, whether you're traveling by bus, by cab, in car, or by foot. Just be aware. Check your atmosphere outside before you head out. Check your bus schedule for arrival and departure times. If traveling by car, look underneath the car for intruders. Once inside your car, lock your door, drive away. Try not to fall. Just be aware. Okay, far car facts. Traveling can be fun. Consider these safety tips for a fun trip. Keep your car for you. Keep your car in good running condition. Check your tire pressure. Check and change your oil off. Whether you are traveling on the bus, cab, car, or by foot, if you get lost, ask the gas station attendants, store clerks, or police officials for directions. Just want to be safe. Just a tip on car facts. Keep these things in mind and wear. Never ride anywhere with a stranger. When joy riding, be familiar with your destination. Always have cab fare, bus fare, money for phone call. Carry a cell phone if you have access to one. Keep this ace up your sleeve or in your purse. In other words, you ain't got to be sure that everybody got a cell phone because that's your seat. So keep it up your sleeve in your purse. Don't, don't show everybody what you got. Okay, avoid long drives, dark alleys, and empty parks. Bring a buddy. Don't be in the minority. In the dictionary, minority is defined as the smaller part of the group, the only girl with five boys, mm -hmm. etc. Don't be in the minority. Date, home alone. Date should be taking place outside the home. Go to the theater, the library, the schedule. Movies, the park, around people, restaurants. See how that person acts out in public before you go into their environment. After the date, the next level is usually the invitation to his or her place of residence. 
Welcome to my home, creator. Once inside, observe the scenery. Stay in the kitchen. Daddy, guaranteed setting for an upright seating position. Stay in the living room. Avoid the bedroom. If you happen to wind up in the bedroom, ask your date to leave the door open. Ask questions. Is anybody home? If you are uncomfortable in any situation, go with your gut feeling. Stay calm. Ask to use the phone. Create a reason to leave. Use your imagination. Remember, to be in control of your destiny. Come along too. While we're here, where are we? You might land up in a strange place other than his or her place of residence. You could be at his or her sister's apartment, single on the box, bachelor pad, etc. The wheels in your head should be turned. Always have a plan of action. Ask questions. Where are we? Where are we here? Let the person know where you stand up front. Be forceful. Say what you mean. If the owner of the home or the renter of the residence is not there and they are unaware that they are having gas, leave before something comes up missing. It could be you. Party, party, party. You've been invited to a party. Find out who else is on the guest list. Ask if it's okay to bring a friend, the kind of friend you can trust to have your back. Remember the strength and numbers. Before attending the party, call TARC on your local transit authority. Find out if TARC on your local transit authority runs by the location of the parties. Make plans to be on the bus stop five minutes before the bus arrives. Make plans to catch that bus that comes before the last bus of the night from the scheduled party. Always have cab fare, bus fare, or phone number of a person that will come and get you. Don't be afraid. If you're in a situation, be a little embarrassed about it, maybe got out of hand, call your parents, call your sister, call your brother. Call somebody up that will come and get you. They'll come and get you, I promise they will. If you say, I need your help, I'm stuck somewhere, I don't, you know, they'll come and get you, I promise they will. Check out the ways to exit in the case of an emergency. This is not the time, and it's never a time, to experiment with unfamiliar gadgets, drinks, drugs, etc. Stay out of bedrooms, stay out of rooms that shut and lock. Now, being stopped. Here's some ways to avoid being stopped. Don't accept gifts. Remember, nothing's free. Don't use people. Express your feelings of what your expectations are up front. Ask for their phone number, but only if you're interested in giving them a call. If you are making plans to meet a person and you don't know much about that person, say for instance a blind date, maybe you got on the internet and found a love, whatever. Meet them at a public place. Ask your friends not to play matchmaker by giving out personal information regarding you. Don't make too much for me. Let me pick my own people. Don't, <laughs> don't give out your phone number to your residents. Don't give out your cell phone number. This is ways to avoid being stopped. Don't give out your address. Never let a stranger know where you live, especially if you live alone. Be careful who you invite to your place of residence. Okay, that continues uh, my presentation. Uh, I want to thank my brothers that came before me, uh, Deacon Wilson, who did a fantastic job on his presentation.
It's a dangerous world out there. Everybody's not a Christian. Everybody's not a Christian in the world. So we have to be careful, uh, careful and cautious. So uh, that's the end of my presentation. If anybody has any questions for uh, uh, Deacon Wilson, uh, Deacon Haynes, or myself, uh, just ask us a question and we'll try to answer them.